Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of Brett's Brain. Today we're going to talk about two use cases for cohort analysis. If you don't know what a cohort analysis is, I'd recommend watching our quick video that explains what it is and honestly doing a bit more research even outside of our videos. It's something that I think is a really important tool for early stage entrepreneurs and founders to understand how the changes and efforts and all the time they're putting into their product and onboarding and customer success how they're actually affecting the results. Most people look at numbers like revenue and CAC and um, LTV, all things that we've done videos on, um, is an average of all their customers at the same time. A cohort analysis breaks that out. So people that you brought onto your platform a year ago versus people that you brought onto your platform last month. And hopefully the people that you brought onto your platform last month are performing with better metrics than they were a year ago. And so one use case is just for your own internal purposes for your business. Are you on the right track? Your blended averages might be flat or they might be slowly going up, but they might be slowly going up just because you have more customers, not necessarily because those customers are individually performing better. Think about that. If you have more and more customers, they'll slowly be, you'll be slowly growing. However, if your customers that started last month are using your product twice as much or buying twice as much from you as the people that started a year ago, that growth is going to be exponential because every new customer you add is going to be worth far more than the customers you added a year ago. But maybe you, in those last 11 months, before last month, you added a lot of customers. So you're not going to see that that growth is about to happen. And that leads to the second use of a cohort analysis is talking to investors and fundraising. And an investor, if they're just looking at blended averages, they might not see those tipping points. It's harder to see when you blend all of your customers or all of your users over in a long time period. If you break it out into a cohort, you can tell a story to an investor. You can tell a story to your team and you can say, listen, these product changes that we're making truly are driving better customer engagement. They truly are driving higher revenue numbers per customer. You can't see it yet because we have a large customer or user base from the past, but in the last month, over the last six months, our average order value has gone up by 10% per month per cohort. It breaks it out. It allows you to tell a much more complete, better story about your business to yourself, to understand the health of your business or to investors.